Hi, this is Julie Bean with Beta Halik, and in this video, I want to show you how to attach a multi strand clasp to a piece of peyote bead weaving. Now, this specifically is going to be an even count piece, but this would also apply for an odd count. And what I have here is I have my clasp, which you see it's got the two little loops, which are very handy. And then we have the other part of it is a toggle clasp by Tierra Cast. So, there we've got that part as well. So I recommend finishing your length of beadwork first, and I like to tie it off, trim all my ends, make it a nice finished piece of beadwork before I attach the clasp. And I like to do that because it gives me more confidence that if I don't like how my attachment is going with my clasp, I can just pull that piece out and not disturb my beadwork because the most of your time is going to be spent on your beadwork. So I have a piece of 18 inches of the same thread that I used for this piece of beadwork here. And this is what it is. And this was just scrap. So I always keep all my ends and tails if they're long enough. If they're over about 18 inches, I keep them for this purpose. So what I'm going to do is I do not have a knot tied because I wanna be able to pull it out if I don't like how it's going. I'm gonna go in from the outside going into the interior on that last bead. Okay, so I'm gonna do it on the end bead, and I'm gonna keep a tail of about six to seven inches so I can re-thread my needle onto it and tie it off in the end. And I'm gonna do this laying flat so it's gonna be easier to see. Okay, so I've got that piece right there. Now I'm gonna pick up two beads. These are Matubo Tenos that I'm using. So I've got two beads. And I'm going to scoot them down so they rest right there against where my thread is exiting. So they're against that end bead. Now I'm going to go take my clasp and I'm going to go on one side. Now this is nice because it is double sided. So either side would be lovely. I'm going to go from the bottom up. I'm going to let that slide right there. We're going to be able to tighten this up at the end, but it might be a little easier to see if I don't have it all scrunched at the base. Now I'm going to pick up two more beads. And now, if you see where we are at, I'm going to go through the next top bead over. So you see how there's like a staggered appearance? So I'm going to go through the next top bead over and then pull. Okay, so that's what we've got thus far. I'm gonna pick up two more beads because this is a multi-strand clasp. Now you could do this whether there were two loops or four loops, all dependent on how wide your beadwork is, of course. Two more beads. And we're gonna go up through from the bottom up on the second hole of our clasp, like so. I can even pull this so we can see more what's happening. And now we're gonna pick up two more beads And we're gonna go down through the next bead over. Okay, this is what we've got. We have attached one half of our clasp. So you see that right there. And it's got some wiggle room, which is nice. So it's got a little bit of flexibility. And now we need to secure it and tie it off. So we've got this end right here, which we'll deal with in just a minute. But right now I'm just gonna hold that end in place I'm going to go down through another bead and pull. And now I'm going to weave in my thread. This would be the same technique if you were tying off your beadwork or working an end into your beadwork. So basically you're just going to be going through some beads And I like to zigzag a little. I feel like it makes it a little bit more secure so I don't tie a knot right away. I really do work in my thread a bit. It makes it when I need to tie a knot easier because there's not as much slack. Okay. And now I'm just gonna poke down through the beadwork. Do that where you can see it a little bit better. Okay, I'm just gonna poke down through the beadwork. And it's gonna make a little loop. See that little loop right there? 
Now this can be a little tricky because now you wanna come up through the beadwork, but not at the exact same spot you just went down, otherwise your loop will pull out. You wanna go right next to it so you still maintain a little loop. So you still got that little loop. Pull it down a little bit more and then go through your loop. Okay, so we're gonna go through our loop and pull. And now we got a little knot. And you could do that several times if you want. And then after you've got as many knots as you want, what you're going to do is you're gonna go in and work your tail in just a little bit more. I got hand lotion on today, which I should never do before I bead because it does make it a little difficult to pull my needle. <laughs> it slips right off. There we go. But what this does is it pulls your knot into a bead usually. It also just gives you a little bit more security. Okay, so I'm gonna trim it. Just close to the beads. All right, now I gotta go back to the other side. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put my needle on here. Okay. And now this time, what I wanna do is I wanna give this a good little tug. I wanna make sure that those beads are nice and tight. Now I'm gonna go down through some beads. And then to save a little time in this video, you do not need to necessarily see me do all that weaving again into the different beads, but I would be the same technique. I would just work my thread in and then I would go ahead and tie a knot and trim it. Now for the other end, that is a toggle, you are going to do the exact same method, but you're going to, instead of doing two beads, like we did for that one, you're gonna do four beads. So remember back here, we did two beads to kind of jump up to the little loop. Instead of two beads, you're gonna do four beads. And why are you gonna do four beads? Because the way your toggle works is it needs to be flexible enough to go in to your loop and sit. So to get that flexibility, it needs to be a little bit longer. So it needs to have a little bit more, more give to it. It has to be a little longer. So you're gonna do the exact same thing on this side with the toggle. But again, make sure it's a little bit longer so it's not right here. You want it more like right here. And that will give you the ability to loop it into the loop to secure it. And that is how you attach a multi-strand clasp to a piece of peyote bead weaving.